Hello friends, my name is Bintu and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a list of five recommendations, specifically crime legal thrillers genre. This is one of my favorite genres to read just for pure fun. I love reading these books and even though they all kind of follow the same format of usually some murder and then somebody trying to solve that murder, what can I say? I love them. They're quick and they're suspenseful and they're just a lot of fun to read. Actually, three of these recommendations are in Kindle Unlimited. Kindle Unlimited actually has some pretty good crime legal thriller series and they're the books that I tend to pick up when I do have Kindle Unlimited available. So without any further ado let's get into these recommendations. So these aren't really in any particular order but I'll start with number five and that is the Robert Hunter series. This series is written by Chris Carter. So far, I've only read two books in this series. I think there's a total of eight books. I'm definitely going to continue to read more books in this series, but it's called the Robert Hunter series because the main detective in the series, his name is Robert Hunter. I picked the first book up from this series because of a recommendation left on my channel. Someone looked at some of the other books that I read and thought that I would really love this series and they were absolutely right. This series is awesome. Both of the books that I read so far seem to start with this detective. He's like going on a vacation finally and then he gets called by the FBI and has to uh, solve some sort of gruesome murder. That's happened in both of these books. I wonder if that's like the ongoing theme where every book starts with him finally getting ready to take a vacation only for it to not happen. I think that's kind of funny. All these books that I have read so far, oh, there's two of them, but the two that I've read so far have a common theme where, first of all, they involve serial killers, they involve really gruesome murders, the murderers never have an MO. There's always like a psychology element involved, so like the psychology of the serial killers and these murderers because the main character robert hunter he had studied the psychology of violent criminals i really love that i think that's really neat that they include that in the book and actually the author himself i believe also has that background so if you are really interested in that psychology piece and you're not too grossed out by the gruesome murders this is definitely a series to check out the only thing is these books seem to be a little bit difficult to get a hold of so for example i think my library only has two of the books in this series and and a lot of the books in the series aren't even available as Kindle versions. So that means I would have to actually order some of the paperbacks for these books. So we'll see how many of them I'll actually be able to read. But so far, the ones that I've read, I have enjoyed very much. Next, I wanna talk about a series that I read starting, I think in like college, perhaps high school, it's been a long time. And this is Catherine Coulter's FBI series. I haven't read a book in this series in a number of years, but I remember reading these back to back to back to back when I first discovered it, and I really enjoyed them. There are currently about 18 books in this series, and I know for a fact that I read at least the first 10 to 12 books in this series when I had first discovered it. And new ones have been released pretty much every year. I don't know, I think she's ended the series and has uh, moved on to spin-offs of the series. But the actual FBI thriller series that I read follows these two FBI detectives, Savage and Sherlock, and they're a married couple. All of these books basically involve a murder, and then Savage and Sherlock are the FBI agents that are in charge of uh, solving this crime. I enjoyed these books because I really enjoyed the main characters, Savage and Sherlock. A lot of it is fuzzy now because it's been so long since I've read them, but putting together this video has made me realize that I need to pick up more of the books in this series because it's kind of nostalgic. I haven't read them in a while, but I know I love them so much. There's something about FBI series that I really enjoy, as you saw, since these first recommendations involve the FBI in some way or form. The next series that I want to talk about is the Tracy Crosswhite series by Robert Dugani. This is Kindle Unlimited, and actually all the rest of these are going to be available through Kindle Unlimited. There are currently eight books in this series. The eighth one hasn't been released yet, and I have read all of the books in this series that have been released. It's called the Tracy Crosswhite series because it follows a detective whose name is Tracy Crosswhite. In particular, she is a Seattle police detective who works in the Violent Crimes Division, I think it's called. I love it because I live in Seattle, so it's really cool to read the book and also know the places because it, it does talk about real life places. So it's cool to know the streets and the cities and the towns that they are discussing in this book. Just like a lot of these other books, there's usually some sort of a murder. There are no serial killers here. It's usually just some murderer 
and the rest of the book is this team led by Tracy trying to figure out who committed the crime. What I love about this series is the cast of characters that she works with. They all are very entertaining and that's part of what makes this book a lot of fun to read. It's also neat to see since I've read all the books the progression of Tracy from the very beginning where the first book involved a very personal crime which was her sister's murder and then seeing that get solved and just her develop and there's eventually a romance aspect that comes into it very minor usually the romance aspects in these books are very minor and she gets married and all of that so it's really neat to to see that progression in these books I still look forward to them and I've enjoyed all of them that I read actually I specifically remember reading one on a plane where I was able to get the entire book read on a plane ride from Seattle to New York City and that's about a six hour plane ride so they're pretty short too you can definitely get them read pretty quickly next another series that is available in Kindle Unlimited this is called the Philadelphia legal series and the author is William L Myers jr. and the author actually is a former lawyer and so these books are basically legal crime thrillers so if you really love the suspense of following a court case as it develops you're going to love this series for sure so first of all I picked this up because it's a Philadelphia legal series and just like the last one I actually have lived in Philadelphia for like uh, four years or so from my undergrad so this is also really neat because again it's set in the city and I know some of the places that it's set in. In fact, I think one of the murders occurred on the Schuylkill River, which is the river that divides the, the downtown from West Philly. But anyway, that's always really neat. So the main character is Mick McFarlane, and he is a Philadelphia lawyer. He's like this, he's really good uh, defense lawyer that works in the city. I've read all the books in the series so far, and all of them involve basically him trying to defend someone who has been charged with a crime and then they are claiming to be innocent and yet all of the evidence is mounted against them so it seems like this impossibly winnable case and the book is usually the rest of the book is spent trying to uh, prove their innocence as more and more on information comes to light all of the books in this series had some massive twist that you don't see coming and I think that's my favorite part of reading these books. I will say I still think the very first book in this series was quite possibly the best. That just blindsided me and that's why I've continued to pick up the books in this series. I also really like the other characters in this series. So the main character is good but I think there's also a really good set of supporting characters and some of them take on a more leading role in the later book. Particularly Mick's brother who works with him. He's like an ex-con and he's like the rough around the edges character that is employed and also helps with the gathering of evidence in these books. If you have Kindle Unlimited, I would definitely encourage you to check this one out. And last but definitely not least is the Morgan Dane series by Melinda Lay. Now Melinda Lay actually has several series in Kindle Unlimited, one of which I am reading now. It's called the Brie Taggart series, but this was one of the first or second series that I picked up by her and I really enjoyed the Morgan Dane series. It is over now, so it was concluded already with a grand total of I believe six books in the series and I read this entire series. I'm so sad that it's over because I really enjoyed this series. So the main character, Morgan Dane, she's a lawyer and she moved to this town in New York with her daughters after her husband was killed in Iraq. And I have to say the characters in this series are fantastic. So Morgan, I really love following her and I also love reading about the family so she's got her her daughters but her dad is also there and there's also a babysitter that they employ and you see them all like they've got an awesome family dynamic in this book that you can kind of see throughout and that is awesome I really enjoyed that now in a lot of these series Morgan is usually defending people since she's a, a lawyer she's defending people a lot of it pro bono actually who have been accused of something that they didn't do and it's kind of similar to the last series where there's evidence against them but they're also claiming innocence no one believes them but she believes them and so she's got to try to prove their innocence. There is another main character and his name is Lance and he is like the PI that she hired on within the first book and there's a small romance storyline that develops between those two characters until you get to the very end of the series and he's also a really great character. There's another uh, guy that works there as well who was a former police officer I believe. Again the characters in this series I really enjoyed and it's a series that I am definitely going to miss. Maybe I'll reread uh, one of the books in this series. I'm not a huge rereader 
Uh, particularly with mystery thrillers, it's one of those things where I already know the ending, but I did love the characters that much. All right, and that is the end of this video. Those are five crime slash legal thriller series that I have read either entirely or partially that I have really enjoyed and would strongly recommend you check out, particularly if you have Kindle Unlimited and have pretty quick and easy access to these books. Definitely let me know in the comment section if you have any really good crime slash legal thriller series that you have read and enjoyed. I love this genre and I'm always looking for more good ones. In the meantime, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.